Alright, so welcome back guys to uh, Super Light Games and actually today uh, is uh, gonna be an exciting uh, day because um, the votes are in, the scores are in for the Game Jam 73 and uh, it's been a while since uh, you know I did the Game Jam um, and uh, there's uh, this is an international game jam. There's 200 you know entries, and uh, from what I have seen from the you know the, all the let's plays, there's a lot of really really you know good people uh, in in the um, game jam, and uh, there's even people with you know more members. And I'm just a solo developer, so yeah. I mean, and also coming in, uh, I haven't you know made a game actually. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a game. So yeah, um, I mean, you know, I'm really not looking forward to win anything or you know be be high at anything. But uh, we're gonna try to look at um, the results of the mini jam seventy three, and I'm gonna try to process what's happening. All right. So first, um, so yeah, one hundred seventeen entries uh, were submitted between Feb uh, five and Feb eight, and uh, two thousand ratings were given. So there were quite a number of people who rated the game, uh, 179 entries and between 8 uh, to, yeah, and average number of ratings were, per game were like 12 and the median uh, was 10. So uh, yes, the Color Boy, uh, yeah, Mini, Jam, Mini Jam 73 is a 3 day game jam guys and the limitation is 5 colors and uh, the theme is power. So let's take a look at what color boy got so first um the number one is color is color dimensions it has also color in the name uh, it's not color boy uh by you mexico um number one in uh overall rank limitation okay so number two is wallbot i actually play this game um yeah i think it's a pretty creative game number three is a, a color picker i also played this game here in the channel number uh four is thunderbolt i haven't played this game number uh, five is split and three Number six is Volt Knight. Uh, maybe I have played this game. Um, and uh, number seven is I Can Save This. I haven't played this game. Um, number eight is Very Interesting Chess. And I think you're seeing now the, you know, the color boy. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, number eight is uh, Very Interesting Chess. Uh, it's uh, quite a good uh, game. It's fun, actually. And number nine is Color Boy. <laughs> All right. So it says uh, it's uh, number seven in the use of limitation number nine uh, overall um number 15 and the uh, presentation number 15 in the concept number 15 and the enjoyment so yeah i'm really okay with that i'm i'm quite happy with number nine you know out of uh, 179 uh you know uh participants and uh, yeah given that i'm just a solo developer who hasn't developed anything for years that's quite a good thing <laughs> i'm really happy about that <laughs> Actually, I was uh, I didn't really like. To, I actually forgot to take a, a look at this. I just saw it because I'm I'm part of the Discord channel of this, and uh, yeah, I wanted to. I saw it that uh, the voting done and stuff like that, and uh, I kind of like to take a look at it. And number nine is I'm really happy about that. Super, super, super happy about that. <laughs> so yeah, um, use of, use of limitations number seven. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they were they were happy about the, my use of limitation because yeah, I mean, using of colors. I guess um, it, it's you know color is in the name so. That, that's a that's a maybe um, majority of uh, their grading system on using the limitation because uh, a lot of you know games that are on the top used color in the mechanic so uh, maybe in the future if I really really want to you know um, win a game jam I should you know double down on that uh, maybe the presentation I don't have a story so that that's what I kind of lack. I don't have a, an, an intro screen. It's just you know directly to the game, which is like a, kind of like a casual game kind of or hyper casual kind of style. So I should put a story that that's maybe what I will improve in the game. Um, the concept is 15, so I guess yeah, I, you know changing colors. It's not that new, uh, but uh, the game mechanic um, with the changing colors is pretty new. Um, but uh, yeah, I think. Um, yeah, actually, my my, um, my challenge is uh, these are indie developers. I do I am used to making hyper casual games and mobile, so uh, uh, indie developers have you know different mindset on things. So uh, I I kind of expected this and uh, that uh, my I guess concept will be a little bit more simplistic than their usual. I, I saw a lot of concepts that are you know really out of this world. I guess really creative. Mine is um still I would, I would say um toned down. Um, so uh, normal people will still play it. So, like for example, yeah, my friends uh, will still, my friends who are non-gamers, can still play this. Um, but uh, there's some games here that are, I know, really very indie. Um, the people who play those kinds of games are just gamers. So I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, 15, you know, 
um, and the voting is mostly um, indie developers. Enjoyment 15. Um, this is I should work on this. Um, so that's why I kind of want to look at the, the, the score because uh, I, I want to improve on my games. I'm okay with you know ratings. I'm okay with you know failing ratings. I'm, I'm fine with that because I, I get something from it. So that, that's what I usually say. There's always you know something to learn uh, from ratings even if it's bad or it's good. Um, so 15 enjoyment. I this is I I designed the game to be enjoyable supposed to be, but uh, maybe there's some something lacking. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, uh, it's it's not that easy to tune this game because it, it's a very uh, um, spawning intensive game. Uh, there's a uh, you know procedurally generated um, content here. And I may not have flushed it, so that's a nice improvement for me before I, um, you know, publish it online. So that yeah, I kind of like this. It will force me to to improve the game. That I, I thought that uh, you know I'm just gonna release it as is in mobile, but maybe I should improve it um, based on this feedbacks. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the other uh, after mine uh, ultimate power um, tenth. Minivania actually Minivania is one of uh, maybe up. It, it, it's usually on the top of the the heap uh, i guess in terms of the you know scoring so i was surprised that uh um it went 11. and also yoko redux um it, it's uh the the number one actually in popular um so i was quite surprised also with that spark i haven't played this it, it looks kind of cool in terms of the you know um art style running low i haven't played this as well um trip power i haven't played it also surge uh, for my friend <laughs> reads um so in the event 16 as well i really like surge it's one of my favorite that i have played there it's really creative in terms of the the presentation so i do like those kinds of things like i i i do know that maybe um the the, the, the developer really played with it played around with it um you know not really just do usual things do something new the developer did something new uh, oh, presentation of dark power is number two in rank, uh, but the use of limitation is forty-two. Wow, number two in rank. That's that's pretty high. Wow, but uh, they're number you know seventeen. Um, outage in Outel Letcha. Okay, haven't played this. Necromancy Overlord and the Derelict Orpheus. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm happy with the results. Uh, it's kind of encouraging for me. Who's you know, I'm trying to get back into games to to see that uh, my game is. Uh, is really it, it's getting noticed i guess um but even in the developers uh that kind of encourages me to make more stuff that's a thing with you know creators sometimes you just need some momentum um you know having um people play your game is really encouraging you know people you know appreciate your game um rate it highly is also encouraging as well um so yeah this is pretty cool let's look at you know enjoyment okay oh okay okay oh enjoyment number one is thunderbolt that's that's interesting so i should play this so it says it's the most enjoyable one so yeah, i should play that um concept split in three. Oh, okay so that's uh, maybe this the most unique concept i should play that also and presentation is number i i thought so i thought so I, when i saw the the art style it's quite unique um it's really an, an artistry thing going on here use of limitation number one is color dimension which is uh you know the highest in terms of the overall rating so yeah that's actually it i mean you know the ratings it will you know give you encouragement uh but of course it's not the end all be all you know um being number one in in the game jam doesn't say that uh actually you're the best game it, it just means that uh you're able to use the you know the theme to your advantage or you're able to to translate the theme and that also takes a lot of creativity uh for sure because uh you know you need to think on the fly um actually i, I didn't know that the, the theme is power I, I just uh you know um learned it when i started so you know thinking of ideas like that it, it takes uh takes um some i guess skill or experience to be able to come up with something like that and uh, also yeah i guess uh perseverance also to push through with, with you know the ideas that you think of because it's just three days um so that that's really challenging um but yeah i mean it doesn't it's not the end all be all but it's really good it, it feels good number nine really really okay with this so that's actually our dev vlog for you know mini game jam 73 color boy like actually closes out the the um game jam what to do now for color boy that that's the thing so i i might you know put some story in i might um do improvements in tuning make, make it still more enjoyable and uh yeah maybe do some progression that better progression 
uh, maybe start with two colors first and then go with three and then go with four and then go with seven or whatever so to really confuse the player uh to really make it mind-blowing which is uh you know something that i do like to do in my games i want to create uh, games that are mind-blowing that's my, my kind of theme right now uh the color by still not mind-blowing still needs a lot of work but that that should be done i guess in the future videos so that's our video for today just an update for color boy if you learn something leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future we do dev vlogs we do um tutorials game dev tutorials i share my knowledge my learnings i i, I don't say that i'm an expert in everything i do have experience but i'm not an expert in everything but i try to just share and help out so that, that's the thing with this channel so yeah see you guys in the next video goodbye